All right. Hi, everybody. What a morning. Um, it's been incredibly inspiring. I'm so impressed by the work that each of these Earthshot finalists and, and so many of our speakers and guests are, are doing to repair our planet uh, before it's too late. Um, this week at UNGA, we're going to hear a lot about how this is a decisive decade. Uh, the truth is, if we factor in the time we lost to the pandemic uh, and the stress we're already seeing in our, in our food and water systems, the challenge of fixing our planet is even more urgent. So let's be honest, we don't really have a decade. So we can't waste time uh, with more empty promises of incremental progress. We need to invest now in the innovators who are finding breakthrough solutions, scalable solutions. Um, and I know the brain power of these kinds of innovators because I get to work with one. Um, over a decade ago, uh, I somehow convinced Gary White to partner with me. And together, we've had the chance to work with and learn from um, some remarkable people, mainly women, uh, who are working hard every day to transform the lives of their families. Now, these incredibly resilient people uh, have a lot to teach us about what Benjamin Franklin called the worth of water. Uh, it's been a huge privilege for Gary and for me to learn from them and to apply what we learn. Uh, and that's one big reason why the water.org model has been able to reach so many people. Uh, it'll be 50 million people that we reach uh, by the end of this month with access to clean water and sanitation. So uh, I've seen firsthand the potential that a breakthrough idea can hold. And if we start seeing more of these transformative solutions across all the challenges facing our planet, then suddenly our Earthshot won't seem so improbable. Um, the work will be difficult. Uh, it'll take extraordinary resources, determination, partnership. But we've got all the essentials right here in this room. In the words of JFK and the legendary moonshot speech we honor today, uh, we do this work not because it is easy, but because it is hard. Saving Earth will be worth it, and as the saying goes, there's no planet B, uh, at least not a promising one. I don't know if you've seen my movie, The Martian. Uh, <laughs> spoiler alert, I spend like half the movie trying to grow one potato, so <laughs> I think we're better off here for now. Um, but there's no better place to launch our mission to repair our planet than my home city of Boston, and it's not only one of the greenest cities in America. It is the greatest city in America. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Mayor. Ah, the Sox are doing terrible. I got to say something. 